Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Aisha, and today's video. You can see it in the title, so it's not really a surprise. But today's video is more of a chit chat video. It's something different. Um gonna be doing a whole lot of talking and a whole lot of nothing else but talking so today basically I'm going to talk about a conversation that has been brought up like that has been started with me by a few people I think about three people and it is <sighs> guys like I feel like I'm acting like it's a surprise but it's not a surprise because it's in the title but yes um, today's video is a is me talking about the YouTube craze in Botswana. A few people have raised it to me and clearly it's something they want to hear, they want to talk about, they want to discuss. So as we go on, please do leave any comments, any questions, but mostly comments in the description box. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, subscribe. <laughs> okay, so basically, as we have all noticed, YouTube is blowing up here. All of a sudden, okay, maybe I don't want to say all of a sudden because there are some Botswana. I know a few Botswana girls who have let me say ladies, Canada Batwana, I know we're not girls anymore, ladies, some Botswana ladies who have been on YouTube for quite some time. But lately, it's blown up quite a bit. A lot of us are doing YouTube lifestyle, vlogs, makeup, fashion, beauty, got all the fun stuff, and. I've been asked, Jorge, what do you think of it, especially since a lot of you guys are doing the same thing. And what I think of it is, like, who really cares? People are doing something that is, it's, it's like a creative outlet for people, you get what I mean? And I'm, I'm happy to see something like that happening. It's a creative outlet for people. You get to see different styles, different fashions, different makeup, different creative talents coming from Botswana. Which is good because we've been raised to say, what have we been raised in a society where it's school, 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 school. Without school, you are nothing. So it's good to see something other than academics being celebrated, being, it's in, in fashion, basically. Another thing I want to discuss is just the fact that it's an industry. You get a lot of people saying, oh, everybody's a YouTuber these days. So what? Like, so what? Let the people do what they want. If standing in front of a camera and talking to it, or putting on makeup, or showing how they dress, or vlogging their lives, if that's what makes them happy, then let them be happy. It's very simple. With, which, with each industry, you can always tell that there are some people who are doing it just because it's being done. I'm not talking specifically about YouTube. I mean, just in general. There'll be people who are doing it because it brings them absolute happiness and joy. You can tell, you can even tell in people's content, on, okay, this one, even if they don't get the most views or they don't get the most likes or they don't get the most subscribers, even though, of course, you know, those things are kind of important, they're still, they're still going to do it. They're still going to push it. They're still going to put out content. They're still going to put out content that is authentic, that is themselves because it's something they truly enjoy and viewers can see that they can see when somebody's doing something just because emotioning or if they're doing it because it brings them joy if, like in the depths of their souls another thing I am going to talk about is basically why I joined or how I came to join YouTube I don't know if I should be talking about this here because there's another thing that I'm doing that is going to be related to that but you know what it has to be done. I've been planning on doing this for a while, so I'm going to do it. Um, how I started getting interested into YouTube is sometime last year, last year being 2017, my life was in shambles. Like, my life was a mess. It was just a mess. And honestly, all I'd want to do is stay home and watch series and stuff like that, watch movies. And I ran out of movies to watch. I ran out of movies to watch. I watch. I literally watched Grey's Anatomy all the time. That's literally the only series I ever watched that wasn't on TV. Keeping up with the Kardashians, the season finished. Um, I think 
um, Scandal was on production break as well. Scandal, The Fixer, whatever you want to call it. Being Bonang had finished. Kuri, I had nothing to watch. So, what did I do? I went on YouTube. I don't even know how I ended up on these YouTube channels. I just remember going on YouTube and seeing all these suggestions. And I'm like, you know what? Click. Something would come up. Click. Another YouTuber, I'd like, click. So I basically spent a whole lot of my time watching YouTube. And I really enjoyed it because I would watch things that I was into. I like makeup. I'm still learning how to do makeup, but I really enjoy doing it now. And I've come from where I've started. Jeez, I, I've come a long way. So I'd watch videos about makeup. I'd watch videos about fashion, of course. I don't know how to put that. Like, the lookbook and stuff like that. I'd watch people's vlogs. I enjoy vlogs the most. I feel like, in general, we enjoy vlogs because it's like a mini... Um, reality show but more authentic less scripted than today's reality shows so I just watch and watch and I thought to myself you know what Lynn I want it's 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 just that simple I want I, I think I could be able to do this and before I started I'd been thinking about it for a long time I started this year obviously I don't know if it's obvious but yeah I started this year and I've been thinking about starting the YouTube channel since last year when I was really into when I started basically when I started watching YouTube I started getting the desire to start my own channel and so sometime last year I went to visit a friend in Joburg and I'd pretend I'd take my phone and you know vlog me and I'd take videos and we talk on the on the videos and just go on and on about nothing she do my makeup and we take videos so yeah and I thought you know what this is actually really fun. I want to do this like for real, for real. Not just taking videos on my phone and then ending up nowhere. I want to do this for real. So this year, um, on the 17th of March, yes, I finally decided to just, yo, just started. I finally decided to start my own channel. And one thing I realized about YouTube is you don't know how much you enjoy it until you actually start. This is why when people when people say they want to start YouTube channels, even though you're not sure you're into it, the only way, from, from my experience, I feel like the only way for you to know you want to do it is for you to start. That's the only way. Because you'll be contemplating, you'll be insecure, you'll be scared, you'll think, oh no, my content will suck, or my videos won't be as good as so-and-so's videos, or this, or that, or that. No just start start with what you have start if you have a phone like that could do the job use your phone if you have a camera if you're lucky enough to have a camera then go for it use your camera but the best way to know that whether it's something you really want to do is by starting and then after a while if you feel like it's not your thing it's okay to not do it and explore something else that's basically what this age our youth is about getting to know ourselves and trying new things so basically, I feel like um, this thing, uh, hey, 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 all the Botswana, all of a sudden, our YouTubers, can't you guys be original? Hey, hey, hey. People are getting to know themselves. People are trying to learn things. And if getting to know yourselves involves you starting a YouTube channel that, that you may or may not abandon maybe two years from now, then go for it. Go for it. Do your thing. Otherwise, happy, you're not doing it for other people. You're doing it for you. Um, one thing that I have realized that comes with being a YouTuber and like having a lot of YouTubers coming up, got to being yourself as me, the, indivi the individual YouTuber and then having, oh, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one, and just a bunch is insecurity. You start wondering and contemplating and doubting yourself or, oh guys so and so's videos like this but like mine isn't so and so's videos like that she's talking about this should i talk about it you start wondering you start, like i even went through a point where i started asking my boyfriend Hora, what would you like to see more on the channel and he's like girl this channel is not about me it's about you it's your channel it's your baby so um don't Put out content hoping that other people will like it put out content that you like things that you're interested in that that are you put out in a way that you would do it don't don't start 
if you're not general if you're generally not considered a funny person don't start trying to crack jokes because you know what not awkward you get what i mean if you're not loud don't be too loud if you're not quiet and opapile and you're all over the place be that that is you so um one thing i've not one thing i've learned but the insecurities will always be there the insecurities will always be there which is <coughs> <Woo! coughs> guys i almost died just now the insecurities will always be there the point is to overcome them do you be you own pace own race own race own pace is it pace or race first whichever as long as the correct me rhyme that's good but yeah basically what i'm going to leave you guys with is youtube in botswana is a growing thing youtube in botswana is a growing thing do not fight it do not hate on it because it is a thing and it is here and it is clearly here to stay and if you're thinking about joining the youtube scene the youtube hopping on the bandwagon <laughs> if you're thinking about hopping on the bandwagon go for it because you never know it could be something you truly truly enjoy so guys i know this video was kind of short and i usually do longer videos but i thought i'd do something different something more interactive in a sense as in me talking not just body makeup something more interactive where i'm sure some people can relate because being a new youtuber you get a lot of you get a lot of what is she doing you get a lot, a lot okay let me say you get a lot of people who don't understand what it is you're doing and that's fine that does not mean you should stop what you're doing and i am digressing i am supposed to be concluding the video okay this is almost the end of the video i just wanted to say thanks for watching all of it i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope anybody who was thinking of joining youtube took some things off of this video don't feel discouraged don't feel that it's just because people are hating on youtube as a together thing that you shouldn't do it because if it's what you want to do it's what you want to do and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did if you have any comments on the topic i just discussed any any things you'd like to share and let people know what it yeah while watching and while enjoying and something of the sort do leave it in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed already you know what to do yeah you know what to do um i will see you guys in the next video